Welcome back to Elden Ring. Wow. All right. We got a lot of stuff to do here. We're here in Leonia right now. But I've been wanting to go and uh, clear out some things here in the Weeping Peninsula that we really should take care of. Let's go do it. There's a couple of things that I really, really, really think that we should take advantage of. Rahili. So... We'll start at, uh, well, it'd be a good place to start here at the Bridge of Sacrifice. Just, uh, start at the beginning. Please don't let it be me. I don't want to be a sacrifice on a bridge. Oh, oh no, I mean, it's, it's, you have to, <laughs> like, you have oh. to, you have to give a sacrifice to cross it, but we crossed it once, and the thing we sacrificed was... Ourselves. Our time. Oh. All right. Oh, that's right, it was just a time waster. So there's a fork over here, we're gonna have to take that. You know, while we were looking yeah. over that big, big display shot, just showing all the stuff in the distance, mm -hmm. for some reason the first thing that came to mind was, is this New Zealand? <laughs> Beautiful piece of music, by the way. No, seriously, though, uh, it, it does kind of invoke those kinds of feelings. It does! I mean, especially when you're doing, like, your first playthrough and you're, like, you know, like, walking through like this. It's like, man, what else could I see here? It's it's amazing. Wow. I can't wait for you to kick a helmet, break your toe, but get the greatest shot. To Gondor! <laughs> it is seriously one of my favorite background information, like, Easter eggs from The Lord of the Rings. Is, uh... When uh, Aragorn kicks the helmet in rage. And he breaks his toe. He breaks his toe. Another fun factoid about the Lord of the Rings. Do you remember when uh, the... Oh, God. Uh, do you know the where the Stuart is and uh, with the Poison King in Two Towers? Gondor? Is that Gondor? With, with the Grima Worm Tongue. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. That is Gondor, yes. Uh, you know how when you're first introduced to Gondor, the, uh, the scarf flies off into the distance? Mm-hmm. And it's in frame and not CGI and actually real? If you listen to the director's commentary, Peter Jackson goes, I can't believe we got that shot in the, fr in the first one. It was never going to happen again, and we got it. And th that's, th that's the beauty of movies like that. I, lo I love stories like that. I just love that. We're never going to get that again. We're going to keep that one. I'm glad it was all framed and everything. We are we are way over leveled for uh, what we need to do here. Hey, this is perfect. I could talk more movie Easter eggs. Please do. That's it's it's always fun. I'm pretty sure you have a a dearth of information you'd love to share. Well, I recently got into uh, into uh oh oh okay right right right. You don't die because of that. I'm trying to trying to get up there is. We really need to show off something up here if I could just yeah okay but yeah I recently had this conversation with uh, with my family and we were talking movies and Easter eggs and all that and uh, one that my family didn't know that's kind of well known but probably not really is uh, when uh, in Home Alone when Marv has the tarantula on his face that's a that that was that was a genuine scream but an ADR scream they oh. couldn't do it in real life because it would have spooked the spider. <laughs> Oh, wow. So it had to be done in the background. That's why you can kind of tell if you really focus how it's genuinely not a scream. It's just uh, just him uh, moving his face to act like screaming. It's really cool. But yeah, just so the spider wouldn't move and like attack him or something. You see the eyes on, on everybody here? Yeah, they look uh, corrupted. This is madness. Oh, and you're becoming mad. Yeah. You've got the rat mad fever, brother. Like, madness is like a a very sticky kind of bleed. Ew. A very a very nasty, a very disgusting, very lore impl implied kind of just it's it, it's gross. Is that a rocket launcher? Oh no, it's, it's <laughs> What? I'm sorry! <laughs> particular angle. I thought it was like a Doom rocket launcher. No, it's somebody's inscription up there. <laughs> like, if you angle it a certain way, it just looks like a, a BFG or something like that. I, I'm tired, man. What do you want from me? <laughs> well, that's, well, that's why I'm, I'm taking the helm here. 
See, see this this place here. This is this is a village that's been yeah the ailing village. Oh yeah, see, ailing from the madness. Because everybody here is fucking mad, and they're like you know in agony because they're so mad. Like look at them. Ah! They don't even know I'm here. Oh my god. They don't even fucking know I'm here right now. I'm so crazy. I'm gonna be dealing more with this madness later. I love the madness. From a lore standpoint, not from like. Yeah. If you were to create a fantasy game, like, say, the Elden Ring adjacent, and you had two afflictions, one that causes rage and one that causes actual madness like what we're seeing here, is a good differentiating word for... Rage and madness. Uh, basically, I want to call rage wrath because it about, just sounds cool. I, I I think I see what you're getting at. And how about berserk and insanity? <gasps> How's that? Oh, that's such a better word. How's that? Yeah. I mean, wrath. Cool five letter word. I mean, I mean berserk. Yeah, berserk. Yes. I mean that that actually is a status in uh, status in, uh, ailment in many things. Ooh. All right. Next place I want to go is up here. Is it in Baldur's Gate? Uh, probably. I mean, it is, it is a D and D term. Like you go berserk and like you're you're raging out. You got ton, ton of attack points, but you have to like roll every turn to see if you actually get to control yourself or something. Where did I put that damn marker? It says I got it somewhere. That damn marker. Well, we're only going for number two. It's fine. Uh, oh well. Oh, you put it in the map in the. Yeah, I don't, I don't the, know. I don't know where the, it is. I have fancy no, place. I know. I don't know where it is now. I don't know where I put it. Where did I place it? <laughs> we should be it? able to find it. It would probably be the only thing in the in the Emerald City or wherever we were at last time. Alright, we'll just, we'll just do this. I'm facing it right now. Let me just follow here. Uh, it should be probably not in Limbrae. Oh, here Could be in Raya Lucaria. Raya Lucaria sounds like a pretty good place it could be, although it could be in the Altus Plateau. Maybe I was trying Maybe to locate something past there. past Volcano Manor. Uh, well. Okay, to the left. No, okay, uh, zoom in. Zoom in again. Okay, we're close. Are we? Uh, uh, down to the left, maybe? Uh... Where the hell is it? I don't know! Oh, yeah, it is a volcano manor! I wasn't bullshitting! Where was it? It's right up oh, there! Oh, there it is! Hey! Right, because I did it for the map of Volcano Manor. Yeah! Alright, okay, yeah. thanks! Thanks, buddy! Alright, now... No problem! So we'll go south of the lookout tower to get us back down at ground level. And we'll get to that place I said we were gonna go and do. We're gonna get a really powerful staff. I'm not sure if it'll help us right now, mm. but it's good for mid to late mm. game. Ooh. Yes. I can't wait for you to blow my mind when we eventually get to the point where you're like, hey dude, this is midpoint of the game, and we're like, 60 episodes in. <laughs> Let's see. That is a preemptive huh. Niskeldamas prediction. Just uh, throwing that out there. I'm hoping that stuff that happens from moment to moment blows your mind. That's kind of the beauty. It's just, yeah. Again, I still think one of the strongest things that souls and souls adjacents have for them is cool bosses. I have always enjoyed seeing the boss fights. This one for you. They're so technical, they're so fantastical, I love it. And then I heard that Dark Souls 2 is just guys in suits of armor, and then the, I get disappointed. The Demi-Human Queen Staff! Oh. Yeah, you, yeah, you guys won't hurt nobody now. You guys just, you guys just take it easy. Are they monkeys? They're like Demi-Humans, but because I killed their queen, they, they, they won't pay anybody no, no harm no more. So, uh, you just, you, you, you guys be good. So that's staff. Big magic power, or...? Big magic power? Uh, we can wield it. It probably does indeed help for our, uh, our night magic. But we're gonna need to upgrade it, though, to really make it worth it. Okay. See, we got sorcery scaling 136 for this. This is 163. Holy but shit. But eventually, we're gonna upgrade this to the point where it's going to overtake that. So it's good that we got that, but we're good with what we have for right now. Okay, let's get back on the main path and head to that church. 
I'll also give Souls games this. Realizing that this cool weapon you got can be made even stronger, that does it for me. Like, like you're showing me this staff, and it can get better. Oh, yeah. We can, up we can upgrade it. We can take it to, to the, the blacksmith. Yes. Of course. Absolutely, yes. Uh, Tally-ho! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Was that the cast of Monty Python's The Holy Grail? <laughs> Just passing by? Oh, dear! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, guy had a sword! <laughs> it was a medieval drive-by. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Golden centipedes. Oh, don't touch those with your hands. Whenever you see golden centipedes, that means the Prince of Death has been lurking around here somewhere. Perhaps. Behold, gesturing. Bug ahead, but likely something incredible. Do you need to collect the centipedes, or...? It is for crafting. I wouldn't get, I wouldn't pay it too much mind. Okay. All right. Where to next? Well, there's a bunch of neat stuff around here. But I think what we really want to do is go to the Erd Tree here. There's a really powerful summon. Maybe not the most powerful summon in the game. But a powerful summon. But certainly one that's going to keep a, a, it. It might carry us until we get to that powerful summon. Holy cow. Like, I know the boys were great and all, but, uh... <laughs> don't hold a candle to the... To the greats, you see. Oh, the boys, the good boys, and now the greats. I think this might be it. Looking out for the two jellyfish here. They should be by the entrance. I think that's what that's how this that's works. It. Yeah. Yep, yep, I was right. Ooh. Nobody's home. I'll kill whoever is. Tombs word catacomb. Definitely nobody's home. Go away. Lesser known Halloween iteration of Squidward Tentacles. <laughs> Squidward tennis balls. Oh. You think this is a trap? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you'd be right. Hey, 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 dude, you want to make a bet that this is a trap? Go ahead, put the money in my pocket, you <laughs> fool. And then you uh, give him back his wallet with all of his money. In fact, there's, a, there's an extra ten in there. But what he doesn't know is that you've actually scanned his entire wallet, so you have his entire identity now. Nice. I am you now. Prepare to buy three houses in five different states. <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna build one house on yep, two- uh, exactly, on, on a yeah. state line. <laughs> on a state line right there. I'm gonna- <laughs> Your new house is a welcome center. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, welcome to UDJ's second home. <laughs> Do you want the left wing in Louisiana or the right wing in Pennsylvania? <laughs> I know those states aren't close to one another. Shut up! That reminds me of one of my favorite Simpsons jokes. <laughs> I know which one you're gonna say! Ned Flanders and Bart Simpson reach the top of a mountain, and he goes, and if you look there, you can see the four states that border Springfield. Maine, Nevada, <laughs> Ohio, and Kentucky! <laughs> I hey, no. finally reached that. It's during the movie. And I remembered that being... <laughs> What was it? There's There were a few lines in the movie that were always on the advertisements. And, Spider uh... Spider Pig, of course, being one of them. Spider Pig, uh, the treasure of I'm a Wiener, and, uh... Th yeah, that, uh, Springfield joke never made it to, uh... Yeah, never made it to commercial, and I'm so happy because it has a great gag. Never a good movie when they spoil all the good jokes and indeed all the drama in the trailer. I just love that, uh, around 2012, we started getting trailers that gave away, like... No! Nope. Fuck! That fuck. hurts. That, uh, basically give away the last third of the movie. Never yeah, understood I, that. I hate that. Yeah. There you go. You just backstabbed a bag of bones. 
it, it, it was really hard. I had to make sure I hit, I hit the spine just right. Yeah, if you don't break the spinal column, it just goes... <laughs> I miss. Yup. Excellent. You hit that and it retracts. Oh, good. And you hit that and that retracts, too! Get, get the spinal column. Oh, wait, wait. I was really hoping it would blow out the other two mouths, and for no reason whatsoever. Oh, oh. Well, that was just smart. Good for you. And in case things go wrong... Oh, shit. Well... That's fine. Oh! What the hell just hit you? A guy came to life up here, and he's getting, uh... He's taking pot shots! He's getting real fucking cute here. Real fucking cute, man! Was he just throwing, like, flaming bags of poo at you? I, I, I think they were, like, grease bombs or something. Oh, ew, grease bombs? I don't, I, I don't know. It's like, he's, here's some flaming pig fat, idiot! These corpses do weird shit, man! <laughs> I guess this is why you gotta take other spinal columns. Of course. Don't come back again. Probably a few more skeletons up here thinking they can get smart. Any smart skelly mans in here? No. No? Anyone? No? Any smart skellimans? Okay. Eh? Okay. Nah, because they're all in here. Yeah, there he is. There's one right here, too. All right, you come over here, then, huh? The How nice hit! Nice hit! Well done. How does Skeleton roar? Asking the real questions here. Maybe it's just like, uh, whatever marrow is left in their bones just kind of rattles, like... Such a chilling sound. Of hearing nothing... Of hearing something with no lungs and no mouth to make sounds... Make the sound... A lever. No enemy ahead. Yeah, I believe that. Didn't expect tranquility. Oh, how tranquil. Huh. Cool. Oh, good. A statue of the ferryman of the River Styx. I think this is the way back, right? Seems familiar. Yeah, okay. We got it. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's go. Safe. Oh, boss. Bus right. time. Those exist. This is the cemetery shade. It's fucking creepy. It's also a little weak because we're overpowered. Oh my god, yes, on this design. Ow. It's kind of it's kind of based on a bloodborne boss. I'm sure someone would tell me about that if I didn't mention it. But uh, we'll never get a chance to see it. Not this iteration at least, because it's dead. Lutel the Headless! Oh. Lutel fucking rocks. One single person? Where's the... There it is. One person. Hey, worth it. If you say it's the best, I believe it's the best. Alright. We got our really powerful uh, staff. We got our really powerful summon. Which I think I will add to the rotation. Okay. There's another church right here I'd like to hit up. It seems like good progression with our summons. We started with... Uh, did we start with the boys or the good boys? Uh, I think we started with... Uh, it was the good boys. It was the good boys, yes. Because we had to fight the wolf thing. That is absolutely terrible. So we went from the good boys to the boys to the bird, and now the one headless man. Girl. Girl, excuse me. Yeah, I could probably take this guy out, too. He's probably not that tough. Is, is that oh, tougher than I thought he'd be. Is that a fucked up end? It's a messed up tree spirit. Ooh! Well, I probably. Uh -huh, yeah, about that. An actual challenge? I think it's because I. It's it's basically part of the Erd tree, and I'm against the Erd tree in many ways, so of course I'm weak to a lot of its attacks. But that's okay! Is that just because you took Volcano Manor? Is that no. the only reason this is ha Oh, okay. I have high intelligence, which is mainly, you know, the opposite of faith. <laughs> In terms of the gameplay, I mean... <laughs> I fancy myself a skeptic, which makes me hurt against religion. 
<laughs> this is a cool looking boss. It basically has a giant void for a face. Huh? Shit! Yeah, okay, it's working, it's working, it's working. Oh, he's gone. He's gone! Uh, yeah, he's... I, I'm pretty sure this guy is out of here. Well, if I don't fight it first. Oh my really? god! There! There! Oh, hi! Oh, hi! I, uh, can, can you not? I forgot you had friends, yes. <sighs> okay. There we go. Opaline bubble tear, crimson burst cri uh, crystal tear. That's uh, for our physic. Mm. Up until now, all it's been doing is giving us half of our HP back every time we drink it. But now with this, we can maybe do potentially other things. Slightly higher than half health bar. Okay, mm. so we got that. Let's make Still our way. Still heading to the church. Yep, let's make our way down there. So really, there's one place I want to end on. Thematically speaking. That's Look, this way. is part two of getting started. I'm all for it. <laughs> Gotta head west. Oh yeah, in response to that, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> how dare you come out and say, oh yeah, we're just getting started again. No, man. That's, that's a joke, but, you know, oh. I mean, now we're now we're going. That's well, what so I mean to say. It's to get started for season two. Right. That's what all this has been, right? So we've started, now we're going. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've wanted to... Tra to traipse down here and get to the Weeping Peninsula to see what's down here, but now I actually see what's down here. And I have, uh, kind of cherry-picked oh. all the relevant bits. That thing is huge. Oh, this thing? Yeah, what are they called in Zelda? I don't know what they're- what- what, uh, you mean the, by that? The rock giants or whatever? These are walking mausoleums. They've got all these death barnacles on their feet. Oh. Is that how you- Try not to get crushed by them! Yeah, don't- please don't get crushed. And this is how you beat them, I assume? Well, it's not about beating, really. Or get into the mausoleum. See, this- this is basically just a walking mountain, I'd say. Whoop! Oh, well! About that. He just shifted his foot! I know, he shifted his foot and I saw all your health disappear. Ah, well, that's alright. That's okay. See, I was really hoping... That's you... not as okay, though. No. Oh. That's... whatever. I honestly thought you were gonna hit me with... Try not to get crushed by his bell ball sack or something like that. He just... Crushes you with bells. That bell is essentially the way that he communicates that he is here. Well, really, we don't even need to worry about him right now, because we don't have any runes that I'd like to duplicate anyway. Because these walking mausoleums, whenever you kill a demigod, you get their great rune of remembrance. Uh-huh. And when you give it to uh, any of the finger reader at the, at the round table, and you get, like, a special weapon or a special spell or whatever. But there's two, you can only get one. If you bring it to one of these, yes, one of these walking mausoleums, you can duplicate the remembrance so you can use it to get the other one. Oh, hell yes. Hello. And perish. Perish? Ah, uh, please? Perish? Be your friend? Oh, you can't do that. Cheater. No vanishing! No. No vanish. Didn't even think there was much here, really. These guys are actively using this church. The fourth church of America. Well, yeah, it goes all the way to the first. I honestly thought he was attacking you. <laughs> I was about to call BS. Dark Souls 2 did this did this trick, and I didn't like it when they did that. They actually had a an enemy that looked like the ghosts? They had an enemy that looked like the ghosts, and it just starts attacking you. It was very mean. What the hell, Dark Souls 2? What happened to you? You're better than this. Whole bunch of sacred tears. So we're good with that. And, uh, All right. Refresh my memory. What did the tears do again? Increased how much we re we uh, get back when we drink a when we oh. drink when we have a drinky. Good. All right. I have gotten everything I wanted to get here now. Basically, there's a few other things that we could try and see what you know what else I got here, but. Uh, 
We might come back for the walking mausoleum should we need it, if we want to get some extra goodies, but it's nothing that we either need or can even use right now. I think it'd be cool to show because I want to see this thing collapse. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I don't mean right now. If, if, if you got something to do... Don't let me know. I wouldn't say we have something to do, but whoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it'd be easier to do if we didn't do it on horseback. Actually, that bleed might make it extremely cool. That would do. Yeah, I go with the longer blade here. Yay. Yeah. Oh, 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 God. I'd appreciate it if I could only just. Oh, there you go. Uh, there's one. There's one leg. I was hoping that if I just clear enough, do I have to really get all of them? Yes. Oh, and he's getting stompy. Because you're down there taking off the foot barnacles. I hope he's still going. Okay. Hop! just reminded of those disgusting fake games, fake game ads. It's just like, take all the barnacles off of the walking mausoleum. How did you get, how did you even get them like this? Come on, sit down. I think one of those was like, it had Elsa, but it looked oh, wait. like, oh, nope. oh, hey. So just most of them, not all of them. I think it also sits down at a set time, too. The music kicked in, too. Okay, that was pretty great. Thank you for indulging my want to see one of these things. Oh, who, who wouldn't? Collapse. I mean, these, th these things are cool. Hello. This is how you duplicate the big ones, but, well, I guess we can duplicate hers. Did I see you could have 99 of those? Well, yeah, if you play New Game Plus enough times. Jesus. All right. Onward. Goodbye, walking mausoleum. Thank you for your power. I promise not to abuse it much. Sorry for slashing your barnacles? The, the things I've said on the internet. Out of context, I know. Are extremely strange. <laughs> What's your favorite UDJ or Niskel out of context clip? <laughs> Let us know. You took like half your health bar from that! Yeah, that hurt pretty good. Jesus! Uh, I, got, I think I'm gonna lower these guys in here. What Come even, on! What even the hell hit you? Yeah, maybe you guys can uh, take some of this too. You guys, you guys want, I mean. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely that guy because they're they're fundamentalists. They're they're of the herb tree, and so uh, they it, it really hurts me when they do stuff. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you guys just walk away. Just walk away. Oh, that dance was beautiful, my friend. <laughs> Kill the intruder. This is called the Tower of Return. And ironically, we're going there for the first time. Oh, hello. <laughs> I know you were going for a backstab, but it was a lot funnier just to see you slap St once. Still effective. <laughs> exactly, it still works. Oh no, a mimic chest! Uh... Oh, at least we get to return to that tower. That's nice. But... Oh! Oh. Really? We're here at the Royal Capital. Hello, Void of a Royal Capital. Really high up on the Royal Extremely Capital, high. Is that a fucking dragon it's, corpse? Yeah, it's, it's dead, don't worry. 
Look how friggin' big it is! Yeah. It's... It's... a lot bigger than the one you killed for the blood blade. Well, uh, we can't really activate the elevator from here. We can't really do much. We're kinda trapped. No. Kinda, I mean... We are trapped. We... Nothing we can really do here. There's a grace up here, but there's, there's like, nothing here. Not really. Well, I think we can level up. I think, I think we might have enough. Maybe? Yes. We do. I'm gonna get magic up. I hate seeing that 13 there. An unwelcome number, to be sure. And this boy's gonna probably come to life here. Have some of that, will ya? I'm gonna go over here if you don't mind. Oh, he has so much health. So much health. And move so. Oh! Okay, so he has reach. That's fine. Quite a bit. Jesus! That's how, okay. How are you gonna try to kill this guy? That's gonna hurt. Yeah, like hell it is. But you got it. You totally got it. Now this might be a bit silly to say, but does the rock man bleed? It's hard to tell. I mean, we could try and be a little daring here. Yeah, check his feeties. Oh, right in the Achilles. Ugh. You're a monster. There's a little ouch out there. Fucking. Uh, I would count my How blessings for alive? still being alive. How are you alive? Jesus! I can't. I can't even see his health bar. I. I. I think over there on the left. I think there. bleed is doing something. Oh, he runs. He run. Can you back him off the cliff? Oh, hi. Blessed two down. Tell us, that's nice. Oh, cool. That's nice. Whoa, Please whoa. tell me that's what we came here for. And also tell me you can totally knock him off the cliff. I don't know if he's that dumb, but... Oh, come on, he's almost there. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Splat! How are you still I don't know! <laughs> but I'm going for it! Go, 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 go! Holy shit, he missed! Ooh! <gasps> oh, huh? Yeah! Oh, yeah! Whoa! Okay, keep going. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cheating the system. Thy name is UDJ. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> well done. Well done. Thank you, sir. Now, is he one of the ones that goes away forever after yeah, you beat him? He has gone away forever. Okay. Last I checked. But this isn't working right now. Oh. Because there is no reason for us to be here. I mean, to gloat. <laughs> to to <laughs> gloat and to show yeah. what our end goal is. Pardon? This is where the this is where I'm gonna end the season, I think. On, not on this episode, but... When we get here naturally. When we get here the in the intended way, where we can actually do stuff, I think that'll be a good uh, pausing point. Because there's plenty of stuff to do leading up to it. As a matter of fact, I have arcs before we get to that. We just finished the first one, I suppose. A very miniature one, I suppose. We just finished the Weeping Peninsula arc. Got a little bit of extra power, got a little bit of extra souls, and... Of course, seeing the majesty of the uh, royal capital, if only window shopping. So next up... See, we don't even have a map here. And won't for a while. No, we will. We just get past here and we just get it right there. Oh, okay, it'll, it'll be okay. easy. Gotcha, gotcha. Next thing we're going to do here is we're going to do the Liurnia cleanup arc. There's a lot of stuff in here we didn't get to do yet. We're not going to do everything, but there's a lot of stuff I do want to do. And then after that, it's the Altus Plateau and the Volcano Manor actually do the quest lines and, you know, trips around here and stuff like that. There's a lot of important stuff in the Altus Plateau we need to get. And then after that, well, no, keep that a secret. 
For right now, at least. For right now, at least. So next time on Elden Ring, we're hitting up Liernia. And we're going to take care of everything there. So we'll see you next time.